Hello everyone! Welcome to another tutorial on how to work on a pom-pom pauline hat. So I was able to make the base part of it. I have a separate video showing you guys how to work on the base of this bucket hat right here. And for that one, you just need to use a yellow yarn. So for this project, we're gonna need the following materials. So for the base, we need uh, milk cotton 5 ply yarn in yellow for the hat we need a brown 5 ply milk cotton yarn for the other features like the eyes and the nose we're gonna use a mercerized cotton thread in black and we're gonna use a hook that is about 3.25 millimeter a steel hook for the mercerized cotton thread and we're gonna need a scissors to cut the string. And also, we're gonna need some uh, fiber fill for the ear part of the pom pom pudding hat. So, I was able to show you guys how to work on this. It is the same as the ears for cinnamon roll. So, I'm gonna merge that clip into this one. And you're just gonna change the color of the yarn into yellow. And you're gonna need to make two of them and then you're gonna put a fiber fill inside both of them so this is what I'm doing right now is putting some fiber fill inside you're just gonna fill it up until the 11th round and leave this part without any fiber fill so I'm gonna set this aside first and I'm gonna share with you how to work on the hat part of pom pom porin. So using your milk cotton yarn, we're gonna chain two. So I wrap around my hook around the yarn like so. And I'm gonna chain two. So we have one and then two. And then for the first round, we're gonna have double crochet eight. So there's gonna be one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Then we're gonna slip stitch on the first half double crochet. For the second round, we're gonna make an increase, so we're gonna chain one. And then we're gonna put two half double crochets on all of the eight stitches. So for the first one, there's gonna be two half double crochet on the first, two half double crochet on the next, and that's what we're gonna do around. And I'm gonna catch up with you after. So by now you may have made the increase for the second round of this ear part of the cinnamon roll. So we're just gonna slip stitch on the first half double crochet. Then for the third round, we're gonna chain one and then we're gonna have another increase. So there's gonna be one half double crochet on the first stitch. Then on the second one, we're gonna increase with two half double crochets. And we're gonna work on it around putting one half double crochet and then two on the next one. So I'm just gonna show you. One on the first and then two on the second one. And then work on it around. So by now you may have made the third round with the last increase. So for the next seven rounds, we're just going to put one, double, one half double crochet on each of the stitches around. So we're going to put one half double crochet to each of those stitches around up until the 10th round so for the 2 4 6 8 10th round we're gonna put those half double crochets around so i'm gonna let you guys do that now and then i'm gonna catch up with you after so those are the 10 rounds including the increases uh, hi guys so by now you may have made the 10 rounds including the increases so now for the 11th round, we're gonna make a decrease. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one. We're gonna put one half double crochet on the first 
And then on the second one, we're gonna alternate between the two. So for the second, we're gonna put um, one half half double crochet, if I may say so. So what I do is I yarn over, I insert it to the first one. I end up with three loops, and then I just insert my hook here on the next one. Pull up a loop and it will turn into four loops so yarn over and then pull to all of those four loops so again for the first one you put one half double crochet and the second you're gonna decrease with uh, two half double crochet together if that's the correct term so yarn over insert it in the first insert it to the second one I'm going to end up with 4 loops, so go through all of those 4 loops. And then on the next one, you're just going to put 1 half double crochet. And then alternate between the 2. So that's what we're going to do for the decrease part of the ear of Cinnamorol. 1 half double crochet, and then... To half double crochet together just to put that increase right there and then after this we're just gonna be putting or adding up five more rounds of half double crochet without any increase so now that we're in the end bit we're just going to slip stitch on the first half double crochet and as I said, since we're on our 11th round, we're just gonna add up 5 more rounds of half double crochet without any increase or any decrease. So there's 1, 2, just all around so that it will add up to 16 rounds for the ear of Cinnamorol. So I'm gonna do this and, and then I'm gonna catch up with you later. So now we are ready to work on the hot part of pompomporin. So we're going to take our brown yarn. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap around our hook like so. And then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to make eight half double crochets. So there's going to be one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to tighten it. Then we're going to slip stitch on the first half double crochet. So for the second round, we want it to be pointy like this. So we're gonna work on eight half double crochets on all of those first eight ones. I'm gonna get one, two, three. And eight. Slip stitch on the first half double crochet. And then for the third round, we're going to work on eight half double crochets again. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. Slip stitch on the first half double crochet. So that's gonna be the tip of the hat. So by now you may have this. It should look like this. So for the fourth, up until the eighth round, 
we're gonna make it an increase so for the fourth one we're gonna put two half double crochet on all of those eight stitches for each of them so we're gonna put one two on the first one two on the second one and two for the third and we're gonna do that all around for the fourth round so by now it should look like this with all of those increases all around we're gonna slip stitch on the first half double crochet for the fifth round we're gonna chain one and we're also gonna make an increase so that's gonna be one half double crochet on the first and then two half double crochet on the next one and just alternate between the two of them so one on the first Two on the second all around for the fifth round and I'm gonna catch up with you later so now it should look like this we're gonna slip stitch on the first half double crochet then for the sixth round we're gonna make another increase so we're gonna chain one we're gonna put one double one half double crochet on the first one half double crochet on the second and on the third we're gonna put two half double crochet and then alternate between that so there's going to be one on the first one on the second and then two on the next you may have a guide for it from below because you can see the increase from the bottom part so there is where you're gonna increase again so just do that all around and i'm gonna catch up with you after so your hat piece should be looking like this we're gonna slip stitch on the first half double crochet and then chain one for the seventh round we're gonna make another increase by putting one half double crochet on the first one on the second one on the third and on the fourth you're gonna put two half double crochets in just one stitch and do that all around so there's gonna be one on the first one on the second one on the third and then two on the next one and then just do that all around and i'm gonna catch up with you after so by now your piece should be looking like this we're gonna slip stitch on the first half double crochet then chain one for the eighth round it's gonna be our last increase so we're gonna put one on the first one on the second one on the third one on the fourth and make our increase on the fifth space with two half double crochet and then alternate it between one on the first one on the second one on the third one on the fourth and then two half double crochet on the fifth one just do that and I'm gonna catch up with you later. Okay guys, so our piece should be looking like this. So I slip stitch on the first half double crochet. For the ninth round, it's a bit easy. You're just gonna chain one. And then we're gonna put a uh, single crochet all around without any increase. So it's gonna be single uh, ninth round of single crochet all around. And then after this, you're just gonna cut uh, your string leaving a long end for sewing so that's gonna be the hat for pom pom pudding so now we're gonna be working on the eye part so take your mercerized cotton thread in black and your steel hook what we're gonna do is we're going to wrap around or yarn around the hook like so then we're gonna chain 3 and then we're gonna make 14 double crochets so from the third chain from the right insert it there i'm gonna make 14 double crochets so there's one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, 
ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Slip stitch on the first double crochet. Tighten and then leave along and for sewing. Set aside and make another one. Just gonna fasten off. So you need two of them. Okay, so now for the snout part of pom pom pudding. We're gonna also take our Mercerex cotton thread. We're gonna wrap around or hook around the yarn like so. And then we're gonna chain four. And then we're going to treble crochet seven. So yarn over two insert it to the fourth chain the first chain make one treble crochet two three four Six, seven. Then we're going to leave a long end, and we're also gonna use this for the bottom part of the snout. So leave a long end so that we can use it for that, and then set it aside for now. So now guys, I'm gonna show you how I sew the ear to the base part of the hat. So first we're gonna put fiber fill inside the ear. Just filling it up until the 11th round. We're gonna take our yarn needle, insert it to the end, and what I usually do is, I sew this part first. Just like so. So now that we have sewn it together and closed the hole, we're gonna figure out where we're gonna put the ears. So I usually count it from the brim or from the tip. Two, four, six. And I fold it like so. I'm going to sew it on the sixth round from the top. I made it half like this. So I'm just gonna start sewing it. Two, four, six. Then you can just do it like this and then sew it catching some parts of the base stitch by stitch make it as neat as you can and after sewing the front bit we're gonna do is we're going to sew the inside bit of it and this is also what you're gonna do with the other with the other ear just make sure that it is leveled with the first one so after this you're just gonna hide your string inside of the ear piece What I do is I hide it inside just like so and then I'm gonna cut my strings so do that with the other one just make sure that it is leveled with this one count 
two, four, six, and here is where you're gonna put the other ear. Okay, guys. So by now you may have sewn both ears. So what we're gonna do next is to sew the hat part to the top of the hat. So I fold it like so, so that I can pinpoint where I'm going to put it. So just put your end on in needle, and we're gonna figure out where we're gonna put it. So we can just use some aspile or pin so that we can pinpoint where we're gonna put it. I think it should cover this part here. And then we can start sewing it to the base. Matching some parts of the base and the hat. Just make sure you don't catch any of the inside because you need to unravel and start again. So just do that all around and leave a hole so that you can put inside the fiber fill. I'm gonna catch up with you after. So we have reached the end bit. We're gonna leave a hole as I have said. And we're gonna put some fiber fill inside. And afterwards, we're just gonna close it. So you see that. And then close the hole. And then hide your ends inside. So that is how we attach the hat on pom pom -pulin. Just do that and I'm going to show you how to put the eyes and the snap part. So now we're going to figure out how to put the eyes and the snap part for pom pom -purin. So I'm going to show that to you. Take one of the eye piece and then we're going to insert it through a smaller needle. Then what I can do is, I can put it on my mount and then figure out where I'm going to put it using my reference. So sometimes I pinpoint the middle part first. And then I can attach the eye piece hide your ends inside so I think I need to put it here so I'm just gonna start sewing it to the base I hope you guys can see clearly what I'm doing. Just gonna do this all around. And don't hide your ends yet because if ever you make a mistake, you can just unravel it and start again. So this is where I'm gonna put it and then I'm gonna put the other one here. So I'm gonna catch up with you after. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how, how I put it without the mount. So we have put the first eye already. So I'm just gonna pinpoint where we're gonna put the other eye. We can align it through the stitches figure out where we're gonna put it
And you can just start sewing it. So just sew it all around. Start like so. And then we're going to work on the snout part next. So now that we have put both eyes, we're going to work on the snout. And since we already have a pin in the middle, we can already pinpoint where we're going to put the snout bit. Just make sure it is aligned. And then I'm just going to start sewing it. all around so this is also why we leave a long hand for sewing because we're also gonna put a smile on it so just do that up until here and I'm gonna show you how I work on the smile so our thread ended up here but first you need to hide this end first just hide it inside take your other string and we're gonna work on the smile so insert it through your needle Put it on the lower middle part and using our reference, we're going to use it as a guide on how to work on the smile bit. So since this is kind of thin, we can just double it up. Just like so. And then hide your string inside. So that is how I work on it. Now it's just a matter of hiding your ends. And then afterwards, we're done. Put your ends inside. Put your string. Take your other needle. And hide the other ends. So this is how our project should look like. So I hope that you enjoyed working on them as much as I enjoyed teaching them to you. And my next tutorial is going to be for the My Melody hat. So see you guys on my next tutorial. God bless everyone.